Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is what we want. This is what we need in throne and liberty. This kind of combat. Yes, this is a miracle. Just a few minutes ago, we have get brand new footage from Throne and Liberty from developers of this game, NCSoft. As you probably know, we are getting skill changes basically today in the evening or they're on servers in Korea, one day in the future. All of these changes will be visible in global version of the game. Anyway, we have get this new video, brand new footage regarding new AOE skills for each class, basically for each weapon, not for each class. I'll explain that later. Anyway, incredible. I can't believe what do I see. Look at this combat. Look at these AOE skills for each weapon. I'll explain in a second. I can't hide my excitement because uh, I have seen during open beta test, many players were complaining that the combat doesn't feel right. I mean, don't get me wrong. This game, Throne and Liberty, is a tab target kind of game. This is not Black Desert Online. This is not action combat kind of game. Nevertheless, for tap target kind of combat, yes, combat can be better. And this will make combat better. Let's dive into analysis. Let's see what we have here in front of us. You will check different kind of weapons here, what is happening over there on service in Korea. And look, this is now, this is crossbow. Wow. Look at this skill of the crossbow. Incredible. Anyway, before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. Okay, let's see what we have here step by step. So in this short video preview, they have shown us actually each weapon of Throne and Liberty, new AOE skills which are coming to the game, well, tomorrow. So let's check what we have here. We have here, uh, we need to start from the beginning of the video. This is on the end of the video. We have here staff looking really incredible. But we are going to start over there with greatsword you will see on the start of the video. Let's go back to the start. This is regarding hyper boost server. I'll talk about that in a minute. But let's first analyze combat. Incredible, right guys? I think that everybody will agree. Let's change camera. I will change camera like this so you can see more clearly combat, right? I think this is the best way. Let's go. Greatsword. Look at this AOE skill of the greatsword. This is insane. Sword and shield. What was that? What was that? That was looking so good. And now, crossbow. You need to see this. This is, this is. <laughs> Look at this. You are moving and doing a AOE, right? This is a longbow. Now, regarding longbow, we need to stop. We need to stop. For longbow here, what will happen? It's not only making AOE in front. It's not like really AOE. It's not hitting behind you, around you, just in front of you. But look what is happening with the targets uh, uh, for longbow, right? This is for longbow. You are lifting your targets up in the air. They are now on the ground. And look this now. Lifting and down. Wow, right? Uh, what do we have here further? This is wound. Healing weapon of Throne and Liberty. But you can make damage. Oh yeah, you can make damage. This is now dagger. Fast-paced, like real assassin type of, I mean, class weapon. And on the end, we have here staff. It's combination of fire and electricity kind of skills. Check this out. Incredible. J just, I don't know. This is what we need, right? I mean, Throne and Liberty is already a beautiful game with lots of content to play. PvP-wise, PvE-wise, guild system, crafting, raids, whatever you want in one real MMORPG you'll find in this game, Throne and Liberty. This is one modern AAA quality game, right? Success of this game is guaranteed for global release, right? Nevertheless, combat, yes, I have to admit, it could be better. It is tap target kind of combat, not action combat, but still it could be better. And these changes here, which are coming to the game, are not only regarding combat, regarding skills, I'll talk about that in a second. Look at this, longbow again, in front of you, up in the air, and down. Incredible. Each one of these weapons, right, we, uh, what we have seen, this is wand, again wand, hitting uh, more targets in front, and pull, right, pull. This is a dagger, these are daggers, switching the targets, wow, skill animations, really beautiful. For staff, on the end, this skill animation, what to say, guys, what to say, right, this is uh, really incredible. Yeah, I was watching this footage already, I don't know, 30, 40 times. And I'm still analyzing what do I see in front of me. Anyway, AOE skills. 
AOE skills for each new weapon of Throne and Liberty, right? New weapon, I mean, weapon which we have currently in the game. Uh, what is happening currently? This evening, when you are watching this video, all depends when you will watch it, but on July 24th, we are getting big new update with many interesting changes to the game. We are getting live skills, yes, fishing, cooking, amitoy, hunting. You heard good. We are getting live skills. Fishing, cooking, amitoy hunting. You will see dedicated guides on my YouTube channel. As soon as I, as soon as we get new patch note over there on service in Korea, I'm playing on service in Korea, right? And uh, also, we are getting changes to skill system. So we are getting special skill specializations. You'll have at level 50, 100 points, which you will distribute to give to each skill different kind of expression, different kind of effect, right? And also, we are getting AOE skills. For each class, for each weapon, for each weapon, not class, right? This game doesn't have classes. This game have roles, which basically you are determining by picking up combination of two different weapons. Even that we can say, for example, if you play Paladin class in this game, that would be, for example, Sword and Shield Wand combination of weapons. Let's say it on that way. Anyway, we are getting skill changes and also right many many other interesting things are coming later in august i can show you here this is uh, official website of throne and liberty over there on service in korea they have shown us here right also hyper boost server yes i'm going to play on hyper boost server this is not a permanent server this server will be up only for four weeks until august 21st and then you'll be able to transfer your character to any server you want also, during these four weeks, you will be boosted regarding experience, regarding gear, regarding everything. It will be incredible. I will play. I already delete one of my free characters and I will play on Hyper Boost server. Check my live streams on Twitch. Probably right now when you are watching this video, I'm already live streaming on Twitch gameplay from servers in Korea. Like every evening since December 7, 2023, when this game was released over there on servers in Korea. Visit me on Twitch if you have any kind of questions regarding the game. I'll be glad to answer and also to keep you updated regarding everything what is happening in the world of Throne and Liberty. For global release of this game, I'm preparing lots of guides regarding different kind of new in-game features. Everything what you can see on servers in Korea regarding PvP, regarding dungeons, regarding builds, tier lists of classes. You'll see everything on my YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe. Now... I was talking about new update, which is coming right in August. Then we are getting new level cap 55. We are getting also new region, Talandre. New castle, maybe new siege, probably. Yes, maybe, who knows, right? Regarding new weapon, we are still not getting new weapon spear for now. Spear is officially announced for one day in the future, probably in December, but it's still not officially announced, right? Housing system, it's coming to the game. Still not announced when, but it's coming. We are getting so many changes to the game. Artifact system. You will have gemstones and tally stones, which you will be able to socket and improve basically your character, power of your character. I will make, I got you covered, I will make dedicated videos on my YouTube channel, guides for gemstone, for tally stone, for cooking, for fishing, for amitoy hunting, for everything. You will see guides on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe for this evening. I need to share this with you. I need to share with you this incredible footage from the game, right? Let's check it out. Uh, this is absolutely insane, right? These AOE skills, this is great sword. Look at this. You're spinning and moving around. And what is this tossing around with a sword and shield? Wow, right? And crossbow. I think the crossbow have the most beautiful skill animation. Look at this. And you're moving with your character. You're not static. And the longbow. Look at this with for longbow, right? It's not AOE, like real AOE for longbow, like this, right? Also for wand, hitting a few targets. Then you have daggers, fast-paced, looking like real assassin, right? And on the end, we have stuff. So yeah, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for this evening, I need to share this with you, right? This brand new footage, my excitement. Uh, hype is back, absolutely. We can be optimistic. We can look forward to play all of this, what you can see. Check my live streams on Twitch. I will play already from tomorrow, already, right, uh, on service in Korea. I have account over there. I'm playing actively. Join me on Twitch that you can see new skills in action. And also, check videos on my YouTube channel, right? In the future, all of this content, one day in the future, maybe even for global release, you'll be able to play in global version of the game. Right? Exciting, right? 
Thank you for watching the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and see you soon with another Throne and Liberty video.